I'm here to talk to you about a really neat looking new backpack. We're going to check it out, talk about some of its features, and I am going to start off with a kind of travel hack. You guys, you guys who know when you travel with your women, they will put everything they can possibly put in your backpack, which is fine. This is a large one, 50 liters. You can carry a lot of weight, but don't be that guy, right? See this? When you put it off, when when you let her put every bottle of water she can find and every magazine she can find back there, it gets heavy. Don't be afraid. Take this strap in the front. You would not believe how much that changes the feel of the backpack when you join these two together and keep them properly positioned. I highly recommend going for it. I don't think it's the coolest of looks, but it absolutely works. So when she's loading you down, go for it. Let's take a look at it up close. I think this is really nicely designed. So this is what it looks like from the top, right? Let's start with a couple things. These are both decorative and really nice places to attach a little carabiner to it if you want to hang something off there. I think that's really cool. As you know, we travel the world with the Doug Nicky YouTube channel and I always have bottles of water here on the side pockets. You can see they're vented so when they sweat and drip off it's not a big deal. This pocket here is perfect for pens, little notes, maybe your earbuds, that kind of stuff. Fits great in there. It does have a pocket here for your sunglasses. My one thing I will say, be careful, there's like not a lot of padding or structure there. So if you overfill this or you bang it into something, they're gonna take a hit. This is the main pocket for like utensils and stuff, right? Like I love to use this little zip one for like my memory cards, that kind of stuff. You put a mouse in here, other notes you have, maybe your cell phone, you put a magazine in there. This is a cool little add-on, right? So this is a little keychain. So you can put your key in there and then just hook it on there and you don't have to carry around all day, but you know right where it is. This is the main big pocket, right? So this is where you're gonna put all, all your bulky stuff, sweaters, jackets, all that kind of stuff, your girlfriend's drinks, her, her magazines. You'll see there's a wire here. There's a port on the outside so you can use it for charging. There's actually a pocket in here where you can put your power supply, where you put your battery back up and then you can just access it through here. Nice easy way to get to that. There is no built-in power supply which actually makes security easier. These straps here on the side are just to kind of keep it nice and compact and when your girlfriend makes you fill it all up with everything she possibly can do, you can ex expand it out. And the next thing I want to show you is a nice big TSA approved pocket for a 17 inch. You could put a full 17 inch laptop in there, obviously more room for power supplies, mat, mice. And then it also has the padded pocket to put your laptop in. Again, TSA approved, which makes life easier on the lines when you have it all separate there. And then the last thing, which is really important, has lots of nice ventilated padding here on the back. This is really nice, and it is really nicely put together, I have to say. Oh, one other thing, Nikki loves this. This is a big Nikki thing. This is the strap to put it on the handle for your rolling luggage, right? So you can just put it on there, stays attached to the handle. You don't have to carry it the whole time. I have to say we have traveled the world. I am the one who carries the backpacks everywhere. I think I've had every kind of backpack under the sun. This is a really nice size, good effective size, big enough to put a lot of stuff in, but when it's not all packed up to hell, it's a nice, reasonable size, easy to work with, nice and light, well ventilated. So it's going to be nice on a hot day like today out here in Southern Florida. In conclusion, I think this is definitely a five out of five for a good basic travel backpack. This thing is sweet. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.